Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 28. As always, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, I just checked, and it turns out that I'm over 1,200 subscribers as of this recording, which is astonishing. I honestly did not realize that. I um, So I'm both humbled and flattered, so I thank you very kindly. Uh, just a heads up, this will be the last tip of the day for the rest of the week because I am going to be very busy with some uh, real-life issues uh, and will be unable to record these. But never fear, I will be back next Monday. Uh, and I'm also going to post about this on my YouTube channel uh, and the various places that I do the tips of the day uh, and post the links to them. So hopefully nobody will wonder just where the hell I've gone. All right, so moving on with today's tip of the day, it's going to be a short one because, uh, well, it's really late, and unfortunately, the one that I wanted to do, which was about the spy cloaking, turned out to be a little bit more complicated than I thought it would be. So that one is in an upcoming one. But for today, I'm going to show you a real quick trick about fade times. Uh, many of you probably know this, but some don't because I've had a few folks uh, requesting information on how to produce uh, a fade, like, for example a fade in like this one or a fade out like uh, this one, a one second fade. So how does that work? It's actually quite easy. There's there's a couple of ways to do it. And the one that I recommend is to just use the um, right click a shot, say edit clip and say set fade times. Uh, and then you can say where you want it to fade. So five seconds, say I want a five second fade in and a three second fade out. And now, at the beginning of my shot, it will take five seconds to reach full brightness. And at the end of my shot, it will fade out after three seconds. Or, excuse me, the last three seconds will be a fade to black. Uh, there are some other ways that you can do this. One way I've seen suggested to do it is to animate the, uh, the tone map scale attribute of a uh, camera. Uh, and this is an interesting value. The tone map scale can adjust the overall brightness of a, uh, of a shot, assuming I'm in the motion editor, uh, and can make it very bright or can make it very dark and can even fade it out entirely. And it is an, uh, an animatable um, value, just like everything else associated with a camera. So if you find yourself needing a more flexible means to do a fade out, for example, maybe over a series of shots, uh, or you want to do some other kind of trickery with a staggered fade out or even a jittery fade out, well, the tone map scale is probably your answer because uh, the, the, the lower it goes, the darker the shot gets, the higher it goes, the brighter the shot gets. So uh, that is another attribute to explore, and I will talk a little bit more about tone map scale in uh, future tips of the day. Uh, so that's how you do fade ins and fade outs. Two ways to do them: a fade in, a fade out, with just using right clicking on the shot, selecting edit, um, edit, what is it? Edit, uh, edit clip, and then selecting set fade times, or by creating an animation set for your camera and animating the tone map scale attribute. Both ways work. Uh, if you're looking for simple, go with uh, editing the clip and setting the fade times. If you want to be a little bit more uh, complicated or you have a special need that can't be handled with, handled with a simple linear fade, then go with tone map scale. Again, I thank you for watching the tip of the day. Uh, I am Jimmer Linz, and I am, as always, at your service. Uh, I thank you for watching. Uh, once more, I will not be here for the rest of the week for the tip of the day. So this is uh, on Tuesday, I believe. And so for the rest of the week, there won't be any tips of the day. I apologize in advance, but I will be back with bells on uh, a week from yesterday, which will be Monday the 19th, something like that. Anyway, I'll be back next Monday. Uh, so hang in there, kids. And in the meantime, enjoy using Source Filmmaker. And you are awesome.